everybody, welcome back to The App Show. A few episodes ago, we introduced Inbox, Google's new way to handle email. Since then, we've been gathering tips from a power user. Things like snooze will change your life and bundles will save you a lot of time. We know it can be really tough to change your email habits. For me, using Inbox lately has actually proven to shorten the amount of time it takes me to deal with email. And even for you Gmail power users like myself, I found some helpful tips. Okay, straight in with bundles. These are a new concept. They were kind of like priority inbox in Gmail, and we've covered how to set them up before. But it's crucial to understand how they work and how to use them to your advantage. For instance, if, like me, you receive a lot of promotional emails, they will now be bundled in promos. When a new email arrives in a bundle, that bundle will rise to the top of the inbox, a prompt that something has arrived. I only ever look at promos maybe once a week, so for me, being able to choose when a bundle shows up is an excellent feature. In the main menu, open a bundle, then touch the settings cog. By default, show bundle will be on as message arrives. Touch it and you get the option to have the bundle appear daily or weekly. You know, I'm still kind of figuring it out, but combining messages into a bundle helps me better organize my inbox. Instead of seeing a whole heap of Google group emails, I just see a forms bundle that arrives when I choose and I can expand it accordingly. This puts the most important stuff front and center. Bundles may be doing what some of your existing Gmail labels and filters are doing. In my case, that would be for calendar invites and promos. So you may need to audit your Gmail filters and labels to remove the ones that are doing what Inbox is automatically doing. I have my Gmail set to use Priority Inbox, which gives me this layout. And I've created a number of custom inboxes like this one. I always set calendar events to email a reminder 20 minutes before the event, and I have a filter to send those mails to this label. Since Inbox came in, they automatically show up in updates, both here in Gmail and in Inbox. So I'm going to delete this label, which is now redundant. Hover the cursor over it, and a down arrow will appear. Click it, then click Remove Label, and confirm that's what I want to do. If I click on the Updates label, I'll see my calendar updates along with all the other alerts and confirmations. On my phone, if I go into Updates Bundle, then the Settings cog, I can set all notifications to Bundle. Now on the top level of Inbox, I'll see my calendar notifications in the Updates Bundle. Bundles are a good example of how smart Inbox really is. Like Google Now, it learns from how you interact with it. It learns from which things you assign to bundles, and also contextually analyzes the content of your emails to better assign them. A great example of this is how Inbox helps me with my expense reporting. When I finish a trip or several trips I need to file my expenses, I click on the trips bundle and the receipts I need for each trip, things like hotel and flights, are often already grouped together, which makes them much easier to file. Before, I had to search for each email amongst the mass of all my other emails. So Tony Grazio, who's our Inbox Power user, gives some really interesting tips around this. Thanks, Tony. He lives by the single touch principle. What this means is that he aims to take an action for everything that Inbox delivers to him. If an email comes in that he can't take action on until, for example, he's back in the office, he will snooze it via the time or location options. A lot of people love this attitude towards mail because you clear your inbox and don't have to think about those emails until they come back from being snoozed. Most things you do in one will be reflected in the other. For example, if you trash an email in inbox, it'll be deleted in Gmail. If you mark as done or sweep an email in inbox, it'll be archived in Gmail. The inbox does have some features like snooze and bundle, which won't show up in Gmail. We realize Inbox is not for everyone, but we've seen it work well for those that have an Inbox Zero mindset. People like myself, who have a really detailed workflow in Gmail currently, well, I've tried it out, but I still prefer Gmail. For now. Hey, um, in both, there's this awesome feature called Undo Send. Which is helpful if you do a typo and send the email still with a typo. Or you accidentally CC the wrong person. Or reply all to the whole company. Who would do that? Anyways, if you do any of those things, you can undo send for a few seconds after the email's already out the door. This is built into Inbox, but you have to set it up within Gmail. And here's how to do it. Click the gear in the top right, select Settings, scroll down to Undo Send, and click Enable. You can set the cancellation period up to 30 seconds. Don't forget to click Save Changes at the bottom of the page. In Gmail, emails can be marked with a star to show they're important. Inbox has pinning. There are a number of reasons to use the pin. A pinned mail will always be visible in the inbox, even if it's in a bundle. 
I pin a mail if I want to make sure I can find it. Pinning is also useful in clearing out the inbox. If you know important emails are pinned, you can very easily sweep away all the unpinned ones. Keep in mind that Inbox is a new product that Google will keep improving on. And next week we're going to go over the Google Apps Marketplace and share some specific apps that might help your Google for Work experience. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Don't forget to share. Because a lot of our projects involve partners all over the world, we spend a lot of time having meetings on Hangouts. But Hangouts have a maximum of 15 participants, so if you want to talk to more people, we use Hangouts on Air.